I just wanted to document this generator I built using energy creator concepts. Can't really show you the core because that's really what it's all about. But what I did is I took these magnets, 144 N52s, 1 inch by 2 inch, and I mounted them on an armature. And then I took the armature and spin balanced it so it wouldn't vibrate. And I was really afraid that there wasn't enough material here to keep this thing from flying apart. And I really started to worry that spinning it at 3000 RPM or something this thing could just blow up on me so I pretty much abandoned this concept but I did want to document it in case anybody else had some ideas energy creator uses um, circular magnets drills and mounts them in the resin which would be more stable than this but this is what I had so that's why I ended up doing that it would spin perfect there wasn't any issues with it working I was just afraid it was going to blow up on me I uh, worried about its design more than anything. That's really why I abandoned the concept. The generator itself, it made it four or five volts at a higher amps. The, the size of wire I'm using is uh, a number 14. So uh, the wire was big, so I couldn't get as many turns in the magnetic field. But I think the trick is really like the induction generators, they make these huge voltages with no magnet, no strong magnetic field at the core. Because I think we're creating a vortex using aluminum to drag the energy to the core. I really believe this concept might have a better application using an aluminum core with no magnets running at high RPM, sort of like an end machine, only um, segmented. Uh, really, I'm gonna run some tests with this rig this is coming apart. I want to use these magnets for a box motor. So this concept's dead. I wanted to document it. So this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out.